Hi, I'm Bobo and welcome to Vista Mount Davis. Now, the previous owners spent about 18 months renovating this flat uh, with an emphasis on turning it into a lush oasis filled with natural light. And so today we're going to explore just that. Now, the area itself is quite quiet and secluded, uh, but it's still close to lots of top schools as well as the city center. And so it's also very, very popular with families. Now, before we begin, don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe to Squarefoot for all things Hong Kong real estate. And let's get started. Developed by China Chem in 1974, Vista Mount Davis is located uphill on 52 to 54 Mount Davis Road in Pak Fu Lam. This is a single apartment block with 40 units ranging from 31 million Hong Kong dollars to 53 million Hong Kong dollars. Today, we're checking out one of the building's penthouse units, which costs 50 million Hong Kong dollars and measures 1,884 square feet. The owners spent 18 months renovating this apartment in 2006 and spent 5 million Hong Kong dollars in total, changing a four bedroom layout, two three beds, and an office. This unit offers three bedrooms, two baths, a private rooftop, and one parking space, with a monthly management fee of 6,240 Hong Kong dollars. Stepping into the dining area from the front door, uh, here we have this four-seater, but as you can see, there's definitely more than enough space for more seats, uh, which is really nice for when you have guests over. And then this low ceiling, as well as the chandelier that's set also pretty low, it helps create a more intimate atmosphere, which is really nice for when you have a good conversation over some food. At the back of the dining area, you'll find two examples of traditional furniture with a contemporary twist. First, you'll see a white fireplace, this is an elegant and eye-catching piece that turns the space into a very warm and cozy corner. Next to that is a sleek, clear piano, which carries a distinctive elegance as light passes through it. Stepping away from the dining uh, into the living area now, what I really like about this space is how huge it feels and actually is. So first of all, we have this three-seater, which is perfect for those family movie nights uh, facing this floating TV console. You also have a coffee table and room for an armchair and an ottoman. So uh, definitely enough space to kick back and relax. Uh, however, it is also a modular piece of furniture. And so you have more than enough room for when you're hosting a large group of friends. So the main thing the owners wanted to do was visually enlarge their space. And one way they did this is by having these architecturally designed ceilings that are definitely much higher than what we see in the dining area. We also have clear story windows overhead which allow you to get a glimpse into the upstairs and invite in a lot of natural light and greenery. So you still feel very connected to your outdoors even though you're indoors. And then finally we have these full height glass lighting doors with glass balustrades so you get this incredible view of the South China Sea. Keep in mind that since you can't open these clear story windows, you'll have to clean them from the outside on the rooftop. That said, they're great for maintaining privacy since they're above eye level. You also have mirrors placed throughout the house to reflect the outdoors like this one on the staircase landing, which catches a glimpse of that glittering sea. The light is balanced out by blue honed limestone tiles, which keeps the room cool and provides a striking contrast with a smooth, elegant finish. Limestone is also extremely durable, so long as you tend to it regularly using a mild floor cleaner. And then here we have a decent sized balcony with an outdoor sofa for you to hang out on, read a book, watch the sunset, and the glass balustrades really let you experience that 180 degree sea view. Now what's back there? Let's take a look. So over here, this is the small office space separated by the floating TV console that also acts as a room divider. Although the space looks a little bit smaller and narrower than everything we've seen so far, it actually does hold a lot of space because you have sliding doors, you have these cabinets, shelves, drawers, and finally the sliding door cabinet that you can use to store miscellaneous items. Guiding you into the kitchen now is this L-shaped countertop. On one side, you have room for two bar stools, so it's kind of a bartending area. And then on this side, you have room for a chopping board and a double sink in the corner. Here we have a double L-shaped kitchen with stainless steel appliances, including a large double door refrigerator, built-in ovens, a large stove top, and lots of counter space for heavy cooking. 
The matching marble countertop and backsplash add a touch of sophistication. Behind this kitchen is a utility area with three full height pullout racks for snacks, seasonings, and everything in between. Okay, so you've had a lot of food and now you're all zonked out. It's time to take a nap. To do this, you can go down this hallway to the rest areas. Entering the master suite now, the first thing you'll see is this king-sized bed over here. Now, it's finished in quite a traditional style, so you have these drapes, as well as a chandelier and chaise lounge uh, to match. And then finally, we have this pillar. Now, what I wanted to draw your attention to is it may be a little more difficult to store items here uh, due to its curved edge. There's actually a reason for that, which we'll go into in a second. Going back to the bedroom, you have a silver white makeup vanity and two large wardrobes, one of which is end to end to accommodate all your storage needs. You also have an electric curtain rack, which lets you open the blinds from your bed and wake up to those beautiful sea views. And the light blonde wood floors, which cover all three bedrooms, provide a very mellow laid back feel. So going back to that curved edge, it wasn't actually there before. This is because before renovation, there were four bedrooms and the owners essentially removed the fourth smallest bedroom, converting the space to a master bathroom and a full height glass shoe rack. So that curve is actually part of the freestanding shower in the master bathroom. The owners wanted to design a spa-like master ensuite, so they went all out for the shower. This one is a full height round steam shower, which is extremely practical because you don't need to worry about cleaning out the edges as you do with conventional shower stalls. And it also comes with a handy built-in shower seat. I also love these iridescent polished mosaic wall tiles, which create a very cool pop of color. Next to that is a large double vanity and a toilet enclosure separated by frosted glass for privacy. I did think it could have been bigger, but overall this was a decent sized space with a strategically placed niche on the side. On the other side of this bathroom is a bathtub with a built-in waterproof TV to take your Netflixing to the next level. On the other side of the master bathroom is a transitional space with a full height glass shoe rack on one side and storage cabinets on the other. Look at how the mirrored surface seems to enlarge the space. Next to that is a tall window inviting in lots of natural light. So entering the kids' bedroom now. Uh, now this is the first one. As we can see, furnishings are quite uh, basic, but there is still plenty of room for a storage space. As we can see, there's a fairly large wardrobe here, as well as shelves and a desk. So it's a great space for you to do your homework at. And then finally, we have bedside table, as well as a bed flush against the wall. So here is another dual access entryway moment. Uh, it's separated by two sliding doors. We have our first bathroom here. Uh, there's definitely enough room for uh, plenty. You have your storage, your vanity with drawers and cabinets. Uh, and then finally, there's this toilet and a freestanding tub uh, that overlooks the mountains behind us. When you enter the bathroom, your eyes are instantly drawn to this large freestanding tub at the back of the room. It's placed right under a window, so you have a great view of the greenery outside as you soak, and you can open the window for additional ventilation, while maintaining privacy by drawing the shears. Just be careful when getting in or out of the tub to avoid getting water on the floor or curtains. So currently we're in the second bedroom. Now it's finished in a style similar to that of the first, except this time we have uh, more blush pink accents, pale pink accents, as well as this incredible view of the sea. Before we head upstairs to the rooftop, look at how the owners maximize their space by building a wine cellar under the staircase. The internal staircase itself comes with glass balustrades, which ensures seamless light flow and creates the illusion of an enlarged space. Now up on the rooftop deck now, the owners have designed it to be Balinese style. And so what you have is a lot of statues, uh, frescoes, as well as potted plants dotting the area. And then also on this level, we have a dining area for six, as well as a kitchen island with outdoor fridges, and finally a barbecue grill and built-in sink. This is a fantastic space for entertaining. It's also my favorite part of the house for its 180 degree sea views, as well as multiple spaces designed for indoor outdoor living, like this large spa pool with two beach lounge chairs next to that for sunbathing. Across the deck is a lounge area covered by a pergola, a lovely place to relax as you admire the sunset. 
Since this home is southwest facing, it did attract quite a bit of sunlight in the afternoon during shooting, so I especially liked the large patio umbrellas that the owners placed throughout the rooftop. Just keep in mind that you will be responsible for roof maintenance. If we look at data from Squarefoot, the most recent transaction at Vista Mount Davis took place in 2022 after a two-year gap. According to Tish Hayward, a senior consultant at Habitat Property, the development has not recorded transactions for some time due to the market. Nonetheless, she added that this development remains of good value compared to other properties in the area due to its attractive internal square feet, as well as the fact that there aren't as many high-rises in the area with such expansive sea views. As for clientele, Hayward said that rentals mainly came from expats, while homeowners comprised a mix of expats and locals, with many families and older residents who enjoy the views. Ad time! For all things premium real estate in Hong Kong, head on over to the Ng Peng Fong Square Foot app. Whatever it is you're looking for, we've got you covered. To get around, you're about six minutes by car to the University of Hong Kong, and even closer to international schools such as West Island School, which makes this a great home for families. For amenities and transportation, you're a seven minute drive from Kennedy Town, which is a residential district with tons of trendy cafes and restaurants where you can take a walk by the Belcher Bay Promenade. You can also get to the Kennedy Town MTR station in 15 minutes via Minibus 54. To get to the city center, you're a 16-minute drive away by car or 27-minute trip, again via Minibus 54. Thanks for watching! If you enjoyed this video, do give us a like, comment, share, and subscribe to Squarefoot for all things Hong Kong real estate. And I will see you in the next video. Bye!